Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see attack surface reduction management using Intune. See when Defender Antivirus is in use on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 devices, we can use Microsoft Intune endpoint security policies for attack surface reduction to manage those settings on the devices. We can use ASR, also known as attack surface reduction policies to reduce the attack surface of devices by minimizing the places where our organization is vulnerable to cyber threats and attacks. Intune ASR policy supports the attack surface reduction rules. They support device control and they apply to Windows 10, Windows 11 and Windows Server through Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Security Settings Management. We'll discuss that later. There are some prerequisites for ASR profiles. Devices must run on Windows 10 or 11. Defender antivirus must be the primary antivirus on the device. So I'll just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, you need to log on to intune.microsoft.com. Click on endpoint security. Under endpoint security, you will see attack surface reduction. And here you will see create policy. We will select the platform. I would say Windows. You will select a profile. You want to create a profile to enable ASR rules to, to achieve app and browser isolation. You want to create attack surface reduction rules. You want to enable device control, exploit protection, web protection or application control. Okay, let's say I'm going with application surface reduction rules. Here it mentions attack surface reduction rules target behaviors that malware and malicious apps typically used to infect computers including executable files, scripts used in office apps or web mail that attempt to download or run files obfuscated or otherwise suspicious scripts behaviors that apps don't usually initiate during normal day-to-day -day work. This applies to Windows 10, 11, Windows Server and the setting in this policy can be targeted to MDM, Microsoft Send supported devices. Alright, I would say create. Okay, I would give it a name here like test and then it says need to configure at least one setting to proceed. Now these are Defender, uh, if you will click on here, it says attack surface reduction rules applies to Defender. Block executive and execution of potentially obfuscated scripts. This rule detects suspicious properties within an obfuscated script. So if you will see the documentation, Right. And if you will scroll down, this is the documentation and uh, here it also mentions about All of this are not configured, right? Block executable files from running unless they meet a percent prevalence age or trusted list creation block office communication application from creating child processes. Let's say I click on block. Okay. Now ASR only per rule exclusion. If I want to add an exclusion here. I can add, import, export, whatever, right? And I can run these policies in the audit mode first. Just to see how will be the impact. Rather than directly blocking uh, the action. Okay. And let's say I don't want to configure it. 
block web shell creation for servers, block untrusted and unsigned processes that run for, for USB. And if I want to add an exclusion, ASR only per rule exclusion. And I will add the exclusion here. Okay. And let's say if I go to for audit and scroll it down, here you will see the conditions that you want to plan and then implement to enable attack surface reduction rules for every setting. Now, we have control folder access protected folders that if you want to enable add here are the folder these are the protected folders that will be enabled by control folder access policy and uh, this is your allowed applications you don't want to do it i'm sorry i want to do it and I would just go for audit ASR, o, ASR only per rule exclusion. Apply ASR only per rule exclusion. If you want to go more, check more about it. Let's do it. Rules are important. Assess rule before the deployment. How the rule might affect our network by opening the security recommendation. And it says for in per rule exclusion, uh, for information about configuring per rule exclusion, see the section titled configure attack surface. Here it is. So now I am on the same page. C test one dot exe. Okay, so if I go so if I want to name an application here, right? I don't have one on my laptop, but let's see what I got. I can do Sigwin, right? Here. here and all right next it says one scope tax selected default role scope tag this will exist by default on all intune entities whether a user defined role tag is not present i don't want to enter any tags here right so these are the assignments i've not assigned it to any group next and once you will click save it will create a policy in Intune, uh, which is a device configuration pro policy for which you create a profile to enable the attack surface reduction rules. Because you can do it via custom profile in Intune, MDM, Microsoft uh, endpoint security policy as well. Okay. So once you click save, you can enable it because I've added in the audit mode. Okay, here you see the policy. In here, we will also discuss in the coming videos about what control folder access is, what is uh, device control, exploit protection, network protection, web protection under attack surface reduction rules. I hope this video was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.